Friends, welcome. This is a very hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 5. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 135 degree axis. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are 2 to 3 clock hours away from the main incision. An ababel is then injected into the anterior chamber. Tripan blue dye is then applied over the anterior capsule beneath this ababel in such a way that the dye stains all parts of the anterior capsule. The anterior chamber is then lavaged with PSS. In this case, the people has dilated quite well but I'm going to use a bit of adrenaline let us see if it helps or not this is preservative free adrenaline and now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now capsulorexis is to be done a uterita forceps is being used to do capsulorexis. The uterita forceps goes through the main incision, a capsular tag is raised and then the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around. In this case I am attempting a large oval rexis. In hard cataracts we know that the rexis should be large so that management of nucleus becomes easy and if it is a oval rexis it has many advantages. Now hydrodissection is done, the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated. And now, some more visco to protect the corneal endothelium. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the phaco needle. We are going to use Oatly Cataract 3 phaco machine. Since this is a hard cataract, the exposed part of the phaco needle is a little more than in usual cases. It is this much and now the phaco needle goes in some superficial cortical lens matter is removed to expose the hard nucleus so that visibility remains good during cracking of this nucleus into some pieces. And now watch submarine chop. The chopper pushes the nucleus little down and the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision. It travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the nucleus is chopped and see how beautiful is the crack. And now I rotate 180 degree to on or two scalps and then separate the two heminuclei completely. Yes, two heminuclei are completely separated in this case. Each heminucleus is then subdivided into two large fragments in the same way burying the teeth into the substance of the heminucleus going through it and then using the chopper to separate the fragments. Now each nuclear fragment is tilted and emulsification of these pieces are started from its apex. Whenever it is and it is usually necessary each large nuclear fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces during emulsification of this large piece.
FECO power, that is ultrasonic energy used in this case is 90 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute except for the last bit of nucleus and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury except for the last bit of nucleus. See this large piece has been divided into two smaller pieces and each smaller piece is being emulsified. Anti chamber is very stable, no surge and if there is no surge we feel so much relieved and this is the most tricky piece, the last piece. I have divided into two smaller pieces, emulsifying one piece, keeping it above the last bit of nucleus and now here I ask my assistant to reduce the to go to FECO one mode where the vacuum is only 100 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 25 and ultrasonic energy is 70 percent and the small nuclear bits in incarcerated in the side port are removed and the nucleus is nicely managed. This is a totally unedited recording and you are watching each and every step. And now watch removal of the cortex. When it is large oval rexis, the sub incisional cortex comes very easily and we don't have to go through the sideboard to remove the cortex. See how beautifully the cortex has been removed by this 23G Simcoe cannula and I didn't have to go to through the sideboard because it is a large oval rexus. And now a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the irrigation on this is called hydro implantation we are not using any viscoelastic substance to maintain the anterior chamber we are using the irrigating cannula to maintain the anterior chamber And now we just have to close the side ports. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Corneal stroma on either side of the side ports are hydrated and these side ports get closed. And now we are going to conclude the case after this final lavage. At this time any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is flushed out using the aspirating port of the 23G Simco. Antichamber is formed in this way and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. You have watched a complete surgery unedited and I believe you will get inspired to use this submarine chomp technique in your surgeries for heart cataracts.